My name is uh, Kevin Tate, and I've got a good one for you guys uh, tonight. See, I have this this pathetic addiction to The Bachelorette and The Bachelor shows, and uh, doesn't matter which one, I can go either way. I really like them, and I just I get drawn in, and I'm not proud of this, but I do. And it's become one of those things I watch with my daughters, and even my wife, you know, watches sometimes, so... Whatever. Anyway, uh, I'm, I'm watching. It's The Bachelorette right now, and I'm watching these guys on TV last Monday. And do, have you noticed how catty these guys are? They're, they're, they, it reminded me of The Bachelor and the girls because they're fighting about, like, flavors of wine, and they're fighting about who gets to spend time doing this or that, or who's the better poet. I, I mean, come on. And so I think, here's my theory, is that what we have to fear are not the terrorists and... Not the gays, or not racism. I think that we have to fear the, the takeover of the metrosexual. So this is the guy that, that's, that is straight. He's not gay, but he, he looks uh, and acts as about as feminine as you could possibly get. And I'm not okay with this. And, and uh, I just imagine if all the guys were metrosexuals and then you throw the women in the tank and... Fine, ladies, maybe you, you finally got us trained and feminine and in touch with our emotional side the way you want, but that's going to get really annoying. It's going to get bad. We need, we need to keep some men uh, in the world, uh, real men, you know, stinky, sweaty ones who, who do tasks and, and, and do, uh, you know, home improvement and stuff like that. So uh, I fear that uh, the world is about to be taken over by the metrosexual and... Uh, I think maybe, you know, the, the religious leaders of the world and the politicians should unite and, and fix this loophole before it gets out of control. My name is Kevin Tate. That's my take. Good night.